All right, so New Zealand story again. Um, this time on the PC Engine. Uh, it's funny, Snestastic. If you don't know who Snestastic is, uh, definitely go and check him out. He's in my friend list. You won't regret it. Um, said uh, he couldn't recall if I had this on the Mega Drive or not. He'd like to see a comparison. Well, I don't have it on the Mega Drive, but I do have it on the PC Engine. And um, I've had it for a while, um, but I never really played it properly before because I actually had it when I had my previous Turbo Graphics 16, which died. So, yeah. No, uh, and it was Japanese, obviously, so I can play it on my new Turbo Graphics. So now that I have a PC Engine again, I had to give it a go. It looks. Uh, it looks fantastic. I mean, this has got to be bang on arcade perfect, surely. Same annoying music, though, eh? Tell you right away though, um, controls just do not feel as tight as the NES. Like, I can't quite put my finger on it, but yeah. You think you're going, sunshine? Come back and die. Yeah, it's weird. Controls just, ah. Oh. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Oh, power up, or oh, speed up, sorry. Right, warp zone. Oh, warp zone. See? Oh, <laughs> it's that close and I still can't get into it. Warp zone. That's what a warp zone should look like. Oh. Um. This isn't where the warp zone took me when I was playing it on the Nairs. I wonder if that's an ocean thing, because obviously this is actually made by Taylor themselves, isn't it? Oh, ray gun. Nice. I tell you what, the controls are an issue again. This, the controlling, flying, and shooting at the same time on this version do not feel sort of comfortable. Right, but yeah, once again, looks absolutely fantastic. I never played this on the Amiga or the Atari ST, so I was going to say this is the only 16 bit version I played, but obviously it's not 16 bit. Yeah, I ain't getting the bomb, it's a shit gun. Yeah, you play on the Amiga or Atari ST, let me know if this holds up to those versions. But I have to say though, the, uh, ooh, cheeky, uh, a NES version is pretty, sort of, it, it's holding up really well, it's a pretty solid conversion, you know, comparing it to this. I mean, although this is how I remember being in the arcade. Oh, now that's what I was missing from the, uh, the NES version, the little psycho penguins on those, uh, what are they, helium-filled horses? Yeah, they were cool, they were my favourite bad guy in this game, right, boss level. Yeah, once again, there you go, see, oh, it's dark, it's a dark, how random. Oh, they were missing as well, and those, um, cheeky. Ooh, fucking, these controls are clunky, man, seriously. Oh, definitely. Yeah, these little bastards, the ones that just spit multiple in directions. Where are they? Ah, I've killed them all, have I? You won't get me on a cheap shot yet, mate. Oh, I'll have that for the fucking whale. Oh, no. Come on. Yeah, clunky, man. Clunky. Oh. Die, 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 die. Oh, sweet. Game on. Everyone needs a ray gun. Top job. So there you go. New Zealand story on the PC Engine. First impressions. Looks fantastic. Controls? Clunky, man. Clunky. I'll see you later.